I'm totally afraid. I'm afraid of everything. I'm afraid of losing. I'm afraid of being humiliated. But I'm totally confident. The closer I get to the ring, the more confident I get. The closer, I'm more confident. The new definition of confidence. Confidence is the willingness to try. My confidence comes from both my faith and in the fact that I keep promises I make to myself. Feel com Borrow confidence from the past. Confidence. 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 <laughs> Even I had boyfriends who never wanted me to, you know, uh, grow or somehow they feel jealous or there are some other issues like insecurity or they think that you will go somewhere or they want you to fit into a box, right? Like you should wear this kind of clothes only or no. though I don't wear so much revealing clothes. But though my family always has given me so much freedom that I can wear whatever I want to, but that's my personal choice. That I saved my salary for 10 years. So whatever I earned in 10 years, I saved at least 50% of it. Because awesome. somehow in my back end, I, yeah. So I saved at least 40 to 50%. That's why if you have seen, I'm not like other girls. I don't spend much on my clothes or jewelry or other things. I've just bought my car by my own money. Otherwise, uh, like I have not bought my home also. Mm -hmm. So I saved 50%. Uh, I think you should, it's very important that you should know how to say no to other people, right? Mm -hmm. Because sometimes people like maybe your relatives or guests or it could be your neighbor or somebody in your family, right? They want to talk to you, want to spend time with you. Like you have to say no, you have to set boundaries for yourself. That's what I learned in my journey. Yes. You have to, I have to work. I If you work from home, it's very common. Now or never! Now or never! I'm good, good. And you? I'm super good. <laughs> Looking okay? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you're super fine and you're looking good. <laughs> so, like, how was your holidays? Are you enjoying or uh, are you on holidays mood or uh, doing something? Doing fast? Yeah, yeah, I, like, I did not uh, made any, I give coaching, otherwise, I did not make any motivation video. I just shot dance video for Christmas and I, for New Year also. I'm, like, uh, earlier I used to do like three motivation video in a week. Okay. And then, like, dance also. So I'm doing three motivation, three dance video. And this was like Christmas and New Year. So I did not do any motivation video. I'm just doing dance video. Like for Instagram, for one week, I took break from YouTube. Okay. Awesome. <laughs> so yeah, because I love Instagram more than YouTube. So. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, I enjoy Instagram more. Okay. So, like, uh, are you uh, taking coaching, coaching calls during these holidays or no? Like yeah, yeah, like if anybody want, yeah, like if anybody want a session, then I give session, and that's it. Okay. So, like, how many sessions do you did like uh, till date? Uh, like how many sessions I do in a day? No, no, like till date, till date, how many sessions you did? Till date, like I have been doing from one year, so I've done many sessions. Awesome. Yeah. So, like, how is all the things going in India? <laughs> everything is good. My family is good. Every, everybody is happy. Awesome. So, everything is great. Yeah. <laughs> so, I want, because uh, last time, I really loved that conversation between us. <laughs> but Yeah, I mean, I loved it, uh, but somehow it could not be recorded. It was actually very emotional conversation. Yeah. That's why. Like today, let it be fun interview. Yeah, that's why. <laughs> yeah. So because I just, that's why, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Go ahead. Yeah, I just want to know like a story how you uh, became a spiritual coach because I am sharing the story of a becoming the journey of becoming. Yeah, like it's you're just talking to me, right? It's like, or is it yes. an interview? No, it's just like a conversation. That's. Yeah, like see, when, uh, you know, like I told you earlier, my mom passed away, so I wanted to do something regarding it. So I just started the uh, YouTube channel to like uh, spread awareness about mental illness because my mom had schizophrenia. Mm -hmm. So I just wanted to say that, you know, that you need to do meditation, like as physical fitness is important, mental fitness is equally important. 
so i just wanted to convey that message i had no intention at that time that it would turn out to be a career but mm-hmm. i believe like whatever happens in your life uh, some purpose is behind it so i was just uploading a video once a week and uh, for one year like initially i started for this reason but after i uploaded one or two videos i was running clothing line as well at that time mm-hmm. so i uploaded one or two videos for that to promote that and then after that uh, i shared my like physical journey also like weight loss journey right. also because you think like what video you should make right which can be helpful to people <laughs> so i was sharing my weight loss tips as well but of course like it's not my passion right so i was just sharing information no. yes. also i love traveling so i so i made like three four traveling videos as well like we went to the nazi like uh, masudi so i made travel videos as well and um, but uh, in yeah i was doing doing like maybe um, in two months i made one video or i was not so serious about it so i just made video because i love making a video and because uh, i was uh, like working from home so i got a chance to apply makeup and everything right because i was working from back end yes so yeah so i was just doing to make myself happy to particularly i was not taking it as a career but like in initial one year uh, people started saying that you know that you inspire us or uh, like they think that i motivate them motivate. yes so yeah so because uh, in my journey i don't know like i shared last time or not maybe i shared so actually i did a radio jockey course mm-hmm. but i could not become a radio jockey at that time because i think people you know i got the response people said that uh, you know you won't be able to connect with the indian audience so okay. i tried in radio but i could not make it so i worked in sales so when i may i was making this just for myself these videos then people said that you inspire us so i said okay or oh, maybe i can inspire people and people are loving my motivation videos more so that time i thought maybe that's my purpose that's my purpose like if people are feeling inspired though i never thought that you know i'll be motivational speaker but if mm-hmm. people are saying that they feel inspired by my voice or by you know something in so maybe i have that quality mm-hmm. so i so i started like making motivation videos only and spiritual videos only mm, yeah about meditation and everything so though you know i was getting a good response on other videos on travel videos beauty videos yes but, uh, yeah so because then i saw you know uh, there is a chance like if because i was not taking youtube serious at that time so i thought you know like if people think that i motivate them so i'll do this like i you know i, I also truly enjoy this it makes me truly happy mm-hmm. so i started making video once a week and then ivan saw my one of my videos and he said you're doing great you should continue it and then i got more motivated okay somebody like at that <laughs> yes. level is saying yeah. that i'm doing good so maybe i'm doing something so i got uh, more confident that i'm on right path and uh, this is my purpose so i got more confident and then after that uh, you know uh, i read his book your one word mm-hmm. and both the books i read so both the books helped me in my journey so somehow i believe like if somebody something some book is going to help you then universe automatically send that book to you so both the books helped me in my journey and um, yeah that book made me realize that becoming a life coach is my purpose mm-hmm. and that how i realized everything so then i then ivan uh, actually <laughs> motivated me to start my website and okay. then because he say like whatever if you you think that there is something in your back end and uh, i truly love tony robbins and ivan too so so i thought and uh, i thought you know i truly love tony robbins i want to be like him so that was my you know i used to love his videos so i thought maybe that's my purpose and uh, so i started my website and everything uh, initially i started free coaching when i started it was free coaching then i did 11 dollar then 99 dollar okay 
because the, yeah. I yeah. first saw you yeah. on yeah. I first saw you on Evans Carmichael story <laughs> Instagram story. What? I, I first, what are you saying? I first saw you on uh, Evan Carmichael Instagram story. Yeah, even I also, I think I saw first video of yours uh, when uh, you posted that uh, video of two guys sharing food together, right? I shared yours uh, with that video. Mm -hmm. At that time, uh, you were not showing your face in the videos. You were just yes. <laughs> making yes. up the videos, right? Yes. So yes. I love that video. I was not knowing that you are a girl because many <laughs> guys are also there. But I think one time Ivan was doing live session with you. I was there. You were sharing some... Um, personal story of your friend mm -hmm. so then i saw you first time yeah yes and it's yes me somebody indian right so we have a connection <laughs> like especially if you're a girl like i'm also a girl mm -hmm. so i want to help other girls who want to be entrepreneurs because there are many things like i'm also learning in my journey which will be helpful to you as well right mm -hmm. yeah so i want to help other girls as well yeah. Because I, I remember your message on that uh, conversation, like a live conversation with Evan. Like you mentioned that I can resonate with that because uh, that is the scenario in India. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like it's true, right? <laughs> like, yes. Even I had persons who never wanted me to, you know, uh, grow or somehow they feel jealous or there are some other issues like insecurity or they think that you will go somewhere or they want you to fit into a box, right? Like you should wear this kind of clothes only. Yes. Although I don't wear so much revealing clothes. But though my family always has given me so much freedom that I can wear whatever I want to, but that's my personal choice that I love wearing Indian clothes. I love Western wear also, but I don't wear that like kind of revealing clothes <laughs> like other girls do, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so because my parents trust me, they have always given me that kind of freedom. But if somebody tell you that you should do this, you should not do that, that I don't like. Yeah, because I, oh, I yeah. like I follow you from like a long time, but I didn't saw any like uh, bad pictures of you. You're good. <laughs> You're presenting yourself. <laughs> That's you. Yeah, like, like uh, you learn from your life, right? To love yourself, yes. to take care of yourself, uh, like to, I learn, I, I like, uh, like to learn about makeup and styling also. Mm -hmm. Though I was not, I don't do much makeup, but a little bit I can learn, like for YouTube, I learned actually. Earlier okay. I don't, when I used to go to office, I don't used to go like do this much makeup. But okay. for YouTube, I learned a little bit makeup. You have to learn. So I learned it. And I enjoy also doing a little bit makeup. I think you look presentable. Awesome. <laughs> and why do you quit your, like, uh, your job? Because uh, do you have that uh, financial uh, support from your family at that time? Or uh, you don't have it? Uh, see, my dad, though my dad is also an entrepreneur, but it's nothing like that, that I had a financial support or something. I saved my salary for 10 years. So whatever I earned in 10 years, I saved at least 50% of it because awesome. somehow in my back end, I, yeah. So I saved at least 40 to 50%. That's why if you have seen, I'm not like other girls. I don't spend much on my clothes or jewelry or I other things. I've just bought my car by my own money. Otherwise, uh, like I have not bought my home also. Mm -hmm. So I saved the 50% uh, because I knew that I wanted to do something from the beginning uh -huh. only. Mm -hmm. Like if I won't be a radio jockey, then I'll do my own business. That was there and like in my mind always okay. uh, because I did be also so I always wanted to be an entrepreneur so mm -hmm. I saved my 50% of income yeah so I had enough money so then uh, I started my clothing line and even with my clothing line I calculated risk okay it's not that I you know uh, put 100% income in my clothing line, I put 50% and 50% I kept for myself so that, you know, I can take care of my expenses and everything for two, three years. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Now, though it's a difficult journey, it's not an easy journey. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, not, it's not an easy journey because yeah. you need to uh, like uh, put yourself mentally and personally and physically like uh, all those things. And you need yeah. to spend... Yeah, because... 
I did not took any help from any investor or something because um, because see like investor I that's my own that's what I thought like people have their own choice like first you need to test is it going to work it or not for you or yeah. are you going to enjoy this or not right mm-hmm. so somehow I felt like that was not my purpose because when um, I did that for one or two years. Uh, i realized like because i was working at the background uh, back end and earlier also i worked in sales so i realized like when i speak i feel more good mm-hmm. uh, rather than you know working in the back end okay back end so okay. i realized, yeah i'm not a back end person i realized that <laughs> i want to be, like i want to speak on camera i want to speak on stage that's my thing so yeah so that's how uh, that's how i realized i think you have to test and experiment i think jay shetty also talks about a lot yes and you have to even and also talks about it a lot that you have to see like you have to test various things to see what yeah. makes you truly happy and you need to test it small when you are doing something new yeah yeah test on a small scale like is it making you happy, happy. or are you earning something from it yeah the most thing is it how you feel like when you do that thing how you feel are you feeling truly happy mm-hmm. or are you feel like or is it draining your energy or is it giving you stress because if you're on wrong path then it it will be stressful for you it it will feel drain so that's an indication you're on right path or you're on wrong path and now you're in i think ivan like, also talks about yes so like uh, now how do you schedule uh, schedule your day because how do you spend your time with your family and in your coaching yeah now because i work from home only so i can easily manage though okay. i don't cook much so somebody in my family generally cooks okay. so i get enough time like i can easily manage because my brother sister is there at home only so i think like when you work from home you can easily manage everything mm-hmm. yeah so it really helps a lot so that's the first thing like be that's why you be an entrepreneur right so because you have a yes. lot of time that's why i was able to concentrate on my health also because earlier when i used to do a job then I, of course you know it's too hectic you have to go to office come back right so it's a hectic schedule yeah so okay. being an entrepreneur the first good thing is that you have time for yourself and you can plan according to, according to your wish how yes. like the way you want that's in, best thing, yeah in india most like uh, if you are doing a job uh, for the paper sake it will be 8 hours but we need like we'll work for 10 12 hours <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's with every job like wherever you go it's like same sometimes you have to work even 13 14 hours and being a girl it's difficult that yes. was the first thing i had in my mind that you know after marriage i don't want to continue like working for this okay. much hours mm-hmm. especially i was working in night so you guys know like after 25 you have a lot of pressure from family get married get married, married. yes so yes so starting a <laughs> uh, business that at least you know i'll have something to do even if i'll work from home i'll have something uh, from my choice i'll be doing something i won't be just sitting at home yeah that that's what the first initial thought that i want to be a good mom as well and i want to do something in my life as well so you spoke about uh, uh, like a marriage like when are you getting married <laughs> uh, do you have plans i let's see like if i get somebody who is on same mission as i am and uh, he don't stop me from my dreams and i can give him freedom to follow his mission or we can both help each other in or maybe we might have a together mission let's see how it goes awesome <laughs> so, yeah so because uh, like as i'm looking for somebody who has the same mission as me so that we both can help each other yeah. yes like so, if, let, yeah 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 go ahead because you're also girl you understand that uh, like i can't do everything by myself like i'm a life coach but like i need somebody for marketing or uh, for other things as well so if that person can handle other things of uh, the business part that will be because i'm not good at everything i'm good at sales i'm good at speaking part but uh, like in marketing i'm not so good so i have to or either i can hire somebody but if i'll have somebody from family that will be more good Yes, because and I truly. 
you'll have that connection I mean, always yeah i truly admire gabby bonstein so she, her husband also help in her business so in the back end uh, he handles everything so i also hope so i'll get a man <laughs> like that yes just i am manifesting yes, i am manifesting the whole yeah, day vis visualize that person <laughs> yeah that uh, universe will send me a man who will help man. me uh, yes for sure because i saw your dance video for like a pre uh, you are congratulating for her pregnancy like a motherhood yeah i truly admire her and she has uh, helped me a lot in my journey so spiritual journey is actually not so easy it's mm -hmm. very very difficult like you lose everything and you have to start everything from scratch so it's not an easy journey and it's i have not shared much about my spiritual journey till now because it's not so easy and i'm not so much subscriber also so that you know i can share everything but slowly slowly i'll share i've shared bits and part of it because it's very very difficult journey actually mm -hmm. and so, like uh, yeah yeah as an indian i can resonate with you so much <laughs> in this entrepreneurship journey <laughs> like yeah. uh, do, do you have like uh, did you get any criticism from i know your family give a full support to you do you get any criticism from outsiders or from your relatives yeah relatives don't matter to me but uh, like somebody in your family like two years i did that right but see family also su supports you till an extent right suppose yes. uh, like it's been a one year or two year and you are not earning anything mm -hmm. then your family also start saying that maybe it's of no use you're no wasting use. your time because yes, you exactly. believe dream you know what your vision is mm -hmm. but they don't know like what your vision is so we can just make them understand no i'm on right path i believe in myself i'll do it rest like if you're asking how to you know handle people who like who criticize you criticize. yeah 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 so i think like um, see if uh, whatever the person see in you it has nothing to do with you i think i told you last time also <laughs> it has nothing <laughs> with you it's their own insecurities if the person is good like they'll see something good in you mm -hmm. if like if i'll see like if you're a good speaker if i'm a good speaker i'll see okay you're also a good speaker like ivan motivated me because he yes. always is also a good speaker right yes. so he can recognize the person who has that quality he can recognize that you also have that thing and it goes same with the bad qualities as well like suppose i'm fat <laughs> like i'm not saying i'm just giving an example like suppose i feel you know that i'm not perfect like whatever i like like my eyes is not good right so i'll see same thing in you or if i feel that i'm beautiful i'm sexy i'll tell you as well that you're also <laughs> sexy yes <laughs> <laughs> so it's like it's people like a uh, person's own insecurities it has nothing to do with you so yeah so i know this thing yeah and like uh, the people who understand or who comes from the same similar kind of journey they won't judge you when you are doing yeah. mistakes that's what yeah like that's how you learn uh, that's yeah. how you learn like even if i see somebody doing the same mistake i did though i'm a little bit blunt person i say on a face but i the intention is that you know that if yeah. i did that mistake you don't repeat my mistake or if yes. i learn something you can you know take like whatever i learned i tell you mm -hmm. right because yes. initially the journey is same maybe i'll i'll go before you and you know then because whatever ivan learned he he sharing us sharing with us or whatever jay shetty or gabby bernstein learned they are sharing with us because that is going to help in my journey or like even whatever tony robbins has yes. learned he has shared for 40 years but we cannot go and directly talk to him but these people like are there on instagram and they're nice so we can at least talk we have an issue or we facing an issue so we can talk the so we are really blessed actually <laughs> <laughs> yes it's like a connecting from yeah. like different countries yeah that's truly a blessing because i heard i used to you know heard from tony robbins that at his time he used to go to library and read books and all and find good mentors 
so he used to just read books so we are really blessed that we can at least you know talk to that person straight away so yeah that's truly a great thing i like how do you Thank keep you yourself uh, from di- distractions because it's a world full of distractions yeah i think first of all like you should uh, know what your goal is right mm-hmm. so and the second thing i think uh, you should know like what motivates you and another thing i follow is that i don't carry a phone which has sim <laughs> so i have two phones oh, okay, okay. <laughs> my this phone it has no sim so nobody calls me on this phone and that phone i put it on silent so okay, okay. so awesome. i don't care like who calls me who don't calls me mm-hmm. so i just check like if it's urgent i call back and this phone i just use it like for posting on instagram youtube so yeah this i keep with myself so i normally like if i have to read a book i'll keep my phone somewhere and, and then i'll read a book for 2 hours mm-hmm. if i'm doing something then i keep phone somewhere and uh, I, i don't allow somebody in my room that's what i do mm-hmm. yeah sometimes it happens yeah yeah, yeah. yeah go ahead. like somebody like uh, i think you should it's very important that you should know how to say no to other people right mm-hmm. because sometimes people like maybe your relatives or guests or it could be your neighbor or somebody in your family right they want to talk to you want to spend time with you like you have to say no you have to set boundaries for yourself that's what i learned in my journey yes you have to, i have to work i if you work from home it's very common that you know somebody can come in your home and uh, they want to chit chat with you you can just honor like for maybe 10 minutes 15 minutes not more than that right if you're working you have to say that i'm working i have okay. to go go yes yeah you have to disappoint sometimes some people as well <laughs> sometimes it hurts <laughs> yeah like yeah. Yeah. it happens you know like people don't know what i do so sometimes people might think that i'm doing nothing or i'm just free right oh, i'm just reading a book or i'm doing nothing or i'm just working just like that so peace everybody don't know what i do so But yes yes because yeah. i can resonate i can relate to it so much because uh, i am doing all these interviews because uh, it takes so much time to ask and schedule the timings according to the timing but yeah most, yeah most of the people don't know that i'm doing it on weekends or on holidays they think i'm watching a movies or enjoying here <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah so people don't know what we are doing so sometimes it hard to make people hard understand yes. once, yeah once i had my neighbor she told me to take care of her daughter and uh, so okay. i said i said yes because um, like initially i said yes but then i spend uh, one or two days with her i could not do a single thing okay. so uh, i said, though it was uh, very hard for me but i said no like i cannot take care of her because i'm not able to do my work in that case mm-hmm. so she understood though she is my friend but she understood like it's not possible to do the work as well no. and take care of her yeah, as well yes and like you uh, you you improve in dancing a lot and lot <laughs> i can <laughs> really <laughs> yes thank you so much Uh, yeah I, 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 uh, i never took dancing so seriously actually but like i get a lot of compliments so i thought i should like uh, follow this passion as well and i should like do little bit uh, you know in more professional way like i should put some makeup and then do it because otherwise my other videos uh, it was just like that like uh, as i'm work at home and you know i'm just dancing so <laughs> i <laughs> Yeah, I was just doing it for fun, so I thought let it uh, improve it little bit. So yeah, I'm learning. Though right now I'm by yeah, in normal clothes only. Yeah, I'm standing actually. By you standing yeah, here, the lighting is good actually. That's why I'm standing here. No, no. Because by you, by you started dancing. I started one year back, so I was thirty actually at that. Time. like i'm 31 right now mm-hmm. so your age should not matter if you want to learn something you can yes. learn yes. and actually i used to go to gym what happened with me was i used to go to gym so me and my sister uh, we used to go to one gym but then my sister joined another gym and i was alone and my brother joined uh, some other gym 
So I had a chance. So I thought, okay, like uh, I don't want to join a gym again. So I thought, let me try this dance class. I always wanted to learn dance as a kid, mm-hmm. and I never learned uh, when I was a kid. So I can learn it now. So I thought, let's do it. So I went like I truly enjoyed first month, and uh, yeah. So I lost I think one or two kgs as well uh, because it was aerobics plus dance. Okay. So I thought, okay, it's better than gym because my weight was struck uh, at one point. Okay. So I thought it's better than gym. I can dance well. I dance as well. I can lose weight as well. So I thought I'll follow it. So then I keep on continuing. Though I have not lost much weight because of dancing, but I truly enjoy it. So that's like, I'm able to maintain my weight. So I think that's what matters. Okay. And it makes me truly happy. So, yeah. So that's why I dance. Yeah. <laughs> because uh, because uh, why I'm asking about this dance? Like one time, uh, I I sent some dance emoji to Tommy T, Tommy Trasher, you know, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, uh, dance emoji. Then he replied, uh, "You're not actually dancing. You should dance like uh, Priyanka. <laughs> you should put a video on Instagram." <laughs> <laughs> yeah he's following me from a long time so he's yes. also great he also he's also i think great entertainer he has great yes. entertainer qualities actually yes he has That's that fun skills actually, and yeah. dancing skills yeah once he may send me a video in which he was imitating me so okay. he said he sent me a video he said is it fine with you if i'll imitate you i said yeah it's fine no issue because i'm a funny person i said no no is it it's absolutely fine you can do whatever you want yeah like he challenged me that you should put a video like a, a priyanka dancing then i said yes i'm planning to do not really now but i'll do it and like i'm, I'm going to like i'm coming to india in february for my brother's birthday okay. Wow, so, great. So, then, great. you're from Bangalore? No, no, no. I'm from Andhra Pradesh, Kuntur. Andhra Pradesh, okay. It's very far from here. <laughs> yeah. Great, great. You are coming. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> so, then I told him, like, uh, I'll do at that uh, marriage ceremony with all those, all my kids, all my nephews and nieces. <laughs> yeah, great. <laughs> So yeah, like, but I think yeah. Go ahead. No, no, no. Go ahead. Nothing. Yeah, because you're a girl, so I'm just giving you a tip as a girl, and like you know, talk carefully. Okay, don't let anybody go ahead and take advantage of you, or if you think that somebody is saying which is not good, uh, so you know, you can you know tell straight away on your face that you won't tolerate this thing or that. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, because sometimes we are new, so because you live mm-hmm. alone also. so i can mm-hmm. understand yeah and uh, one more thing i want to ask you about the health because it's the health and uh, uh, your diet is really important for your thoughts and mind mental strength yeah absolutely yeah so like how you take care of your health and your diet yeah i do meditation 30 minutes to 2 hours you know depending mm-hmm. like how much time i have because in this a uh, spiritual journey doing meditation is very very important it's it's the main thing like that's how we get everything knowledge and everything mm-hmm. so first thing is meditation then uh, diet everybody takes a good diet in my home like my brother also go to gym mm-hmm. and my sister also they also take care of it so yeah diet you have to take care of yourself like whatever you like see um my sister and brother they are like very strict on their diet like they eat normally like salad only or oh. they are very strict at yeah like but i'm not like that i eat everything mm-hmm. i do cheat day also on saturday sunday i eat everything normally yeah awesome. like i yeah. eat home made food only like i tell mm-hmm. you like when i was i used to go to office i was a very different person because i used to go to office uh monday to friday then saturday sunday i used to go to watch a movie or something and i used to take all my friends also with me so we used to have something like outside pizza or something 
Mm-hmm. So after my mom passed away, we stopped doing that. So we don't go outside like to watch movie and all. Though I like watching movie, but we watch it at home only. Mm-hmm. So we take care of everybody. Take care of their diet, and uh, that's what I think Tony Robbins also talks about a lot. That you have to take care of your diet. Yeah, and, because uh, yeah, like health and diet is like much related to our thoughts. How you uh, how you behave in a daily life. yeah like it's uh, being a spiritual coach i think uh, your energy is everything yes and that's uh, i also get to learn from luis a lot he also take care of his health a lot so that's why i follow him as well and uh, he really inspired me in that way because his his channel is mainly about fitness and inspiration so yeah so everybody take care, like good uh, diet at my home so that's why like we slowly slowly improve earlier like we used to do it on every weekend now we don't uh, eat like pizza and everything on every weekend but yeah like if there is some birthday or christmas then we do it from outside once okay. in a while it's okay but daily daily is not okay yeah so yeah, eat everything because- in balance i believe in going out as well yeah yeah because uh, we are we are like uh, getting money we are earning money but we are spending all that money on health on hospitals with two doctors and all those things <laughs> yeah so yeah that's the thing if you will take good diet you will take care of yourself also yeah. i have seen like because also one thing i've seen uh, what happened is that because i did lot of research as well and that's why one of the reason i started my channel because after my mom passed away i did some research and what i find out was that like it's not just the mental uh, sorry mental illness like uh, you know schizophrenia or depression or other mental diseases like anxiety mm-hmm. happening because of stress uh, there are other diseases even physical diseases are also happening because of stress yes so like people people tell you just work 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 hustle 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 but it's actually affecting your health actually in the long time so i also learned it in a hard way <laughs> when my mom the way mm-hmm. i learned at that time but that's my initial thing like you know work in a balance manner mm-hmm. so that you're happy also you're doing your work also that's a true success like if you are happy in your relationship and you are uh, in like you have your healthy too and you have a great career too if you just have a career and you do you don't no, have anybody and, like uh, yeah. in relationship and your health is uh, not good that's of no use like if i am at the top of my career and you know working mm-hmm. also i did a little bit research about overworking as well that people who don't like their own company or they have some kind of guilt or shame they overwork so because i also used to be a workaholic so i did little bit research on that as well yeah because i'm a healer too but i don't um, like do healing like uh, touch wise that i touch somebody and heal somebody i think uh, my words heal people so i don't uh, do that kind of healing but uh, i think uh, like if i say something that help people that's what i feedback i get that you know i help people in their journey so everybody has their own path yes. whatever i learned in my life that's what i yeah yes yeah and so i'm a healer too but i don't like uh, touch people and uh, heal <laughs> i just use my words yeah mhm like uh, and sometimes you- your energy also help like you have a good energy like then that pass on like if i'm talking to you then a good energy also pass on you go ahead yeah it's like a it's like a fun interview so it will pass on to the audience as well <laughs> yeah like if you're talking to me you'll enjoy you will pass on to somebody as somebody, well right yes, exactly that energy will get transferred exactly like anger also get transferred like somebody will scold you <laughs> you will get <laughs> go ahead and scold somebody else Yeah, <laughs> like if some is a boss and his wife is really irritating and he fights with his wife and then come to office mm-hmm. and he shouts at his employees as well. So that's why it's all interrelated because uh, 
Uh, I'm a life coach, so I can I observe people. Oh so, yeah, it's my past favorite hobby. Even I use in my free time. I just see what people do. <laughs> it makes me laugh. I just see what they do. Yeah. <laughs> I just do like what they do because I read a lot about personalities or because in life coaching you read a lot about people. Mm-hmm. I just see what they're doing, why they're doing. Yeah, because people don't know like why they're doing, but we can see why they're doing. So yeah. yeah. So like, yeah, what is the best experience? Yeah. So, yeah. What is the best experience with one of your clients uh, who told you, like, who connected you with th- with their story? Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? Hello? 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 Yeah, yeah. Are you losing? Yes, I can. I can hear you. But I can't hear. Yeah. yeah, are you recording this? Right? Yes, it's recording. Hello. Okay, okay, great. Because I thought we are just talking. No, no, no. <laughs> I thought we are just talking just like that. No, no, no. Like it's recording. It's automatically reco- uh, records every meeting. <laughs> Okay. You'll yeah. edit also, it will just go. You'll edit too. What? I didn't get you. Hello. Are you there? Yes, I am here. I'm here. Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Hello. 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 Yeah, I can hear you now. Yeah. Hello. I think it's- yeah, yeah, I can hear you. Yeah, I can hear you, but I cannot see you. Like your my screen is frozen, actually. Yeah, the same thing with me. Your uh, your picture is frozen. Okay, like, uh, what is the best experience with uh, with your clients? Hello. Uh, the best experience is like to see them happy or if I'm able to help someone in achieving or like to, to purpose and to see that's the best thing. Yeah. Okay. Like, uh, like I love making people happy actually. Like, is there any story that you can tell us like or a, a small bit of a portion of like a bit, any conversation kind of? Hello. Uh, from my. Yes, from your client. Yeah, like about client. Yeah, like I had a client. Uh, you know, he was confused that what his purpose is or passion is. Okay. And also, he was not able to achieve his target. So I helped him, and actually, he worked in a radio. Okay. So. Yeah, so I, you know, accordingly, I told him you should do this thing and I told him the tips. So I help him in finding out his purpose and uh, then he's doing good now. So I'm happy that my advice has really helped me in his life. Okay, awesome. Yeah, because I'm spiritually gifted. So that's why, you know, I can say like what what the thing is, what, which is the block and accordingly, I can say. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Awesome. So, what what are your next 2019? I'm not able to see you actually. Yeah, I can see you. I think it's. Can you see me or can you hear me? Okay. Yeah. What's your question? I can hear a little bit. Okay, like, uh, uh, what are your resolutions or goals for 2019? Yeah, like, I can hear you now. Yeah, what are your goals for 2019? Sorry? Goals, goals for 2019. 
Yeah, it was more emotional interview. It's a fun interview, so it's okay. Yeah. And actually, yeah. I, I thought I'm just talking, uh, but uh, yeah, you can see it's good. Otherwise, you know, because I thought we are just talking. So <laughs> let's see. Okay, so okay. thank you so much, and uh, great day to you or night. I think it's daytime only there, right? Y- yes. You're most daytime. welcome. Bye bye. Take care. Bye. Take care. Happy New Year. Okay. Yeah, you too. Bye-bye. Bye. I'm totally afraid. I'm afraid of everything. I'm afraid of losing. I'm afraid of being humiliated. But I'm totally confident. The closer I get to the ring, the more confident I get. The closer, the more confident. The new definition of confidence. Confidence is the willingness to try. My confidence comes from both my faith and in the fact that I keep promises I make to myself. Feel com- Borrow confidence from the past. Confidence. 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 There's a difference. I want to do it and I want to be a rock star, right? Like, and that's where you influence people. Like, you know, like I want to do it, but I also want to be the most popular. And so then that person's like, oh, I want to be him. So I guess I'll be nice. Like I want to literally take people who have DNA that's kind of nice and make them more nice.